Hi, I'm Caroline. I'm here with Brad Burrows, who heads up the Professional Service Division of Office. Brad, tell me a little bit about your professional experience. Well, I started my career in the Royal Australian Navy. I went through the Australian Defence Force Academy in 1990, graduated with an information systems degree. That got me started in the, uh, the technology industry. Uh, from there, I've worked in, um, I guess, both sides of the fence in consulting with uh, some small companies as well as IBM GSA as a senior consultant there. Um, I've been on the, the uh, business side of the fence, working in project management, head of IT, CIA roles. Uh, the industries I've worked in include banking and finance, uh, defence, um, transportation, retail and, and even biotechnology. And uh, I, I love just getting involved in transformational projects where technology is really making a difference for the business. And why did you choose to join Office? Well, perhaps a little bit unusual, I, I was a customer of Office's for about six years. I uh, had a selection criteria and I was looking for somewhere to host um, the infrastructure for a project I was working on and Office met all of the criteria very well. About six years into it, they performed really well. We built some great relationships and it was then a couple of years later that Chai, the CEO, asked me to come on board and help him with a number of initiatives, including uh, reviewing and helping to develop the, the business plan. And then that led to the opportunity to come on board and, and help uh, Chai to set up a professional services practice. And what are Office's professional services? Well, uh, Office has always done professional services, uh, but it's always been part of a, a fixed price package of work that they've done, uh, whereas what we're now doing is uh, a lot more services. Um, so the services that Office has provided historically have all been around what I'd, I'd call the theme of um, cloud managed services. Office has had a private data centre, so everything has been privately hosted, and now we're evolving into a hybrid cloud uh, service provider. So we uh, partnered with a number of the, the bigger companies out there like IBM Softlayer, uh, AWS, Rackspace. So we're in a position now where we can provide clients with uh, you know, a mix of hybrid services where perhaps they might have their database in a private data centre but a lot of their web facing applications will sit in one or more public clouds and we're managing that service for them. The services that we historically have provided have been around um, project um, design or infrastructure design, uh, technical planning, project management and now with, uh, with myself coming on board we're starting to get more into the assisting customers to do cloud migration so we'll start with even strategy pieces of work, um, cloud readiness assessments, we're doing a lot more work in the technical planning and, um, and infrastructure design space as well as taking on increasingly complex projects. What sets Office apart? What differentiates it? Firstly, we are an experience-based consultancy, so a lot of organisations out there say they are that, but Office truly is that. We, uh, the majority of the people in Office have got 10, if not 20 years experience in the industry and a great track record and a number of certifications in their relevant disciplines, whichever that may be for the, the particular um, technical area that we're talking about. So we have a great track record in delivery of projects. Also, um, the culture of office is, is second to none. I mean, the guys are, are highly communicative, very professional. We all work together well as a team and it's a friendly environment to, to work within. Um, also, the, uh, the culture could be summed up as a, as a can-do, very customer-focused culture, and I enjoy working there. In such a rapidly changing environment, what challenges do you see in the future? Well, I, I see, uh, in my experience, the complexity of the infrastructure architecture is increasingly uh, increasing dramatically. We, we had a scenario maybe five years ago where most of the infrastructure architecture was one or two tiers. Um, nowadays we're seeing uh, three, four and five tier architectures in play with the advent of um, database caching, load balances. We're starting to spread uh, servers and services across multiple data centres. So the complexity is growing enormously, which is why Office is investing in new software um, cloud management platforms. Um, and training for our staff in multiple uh, data centres so that we can keep up and continue to deliver the, the services to our customers. Office has also got a fantastic track record and many customer uh, testimonials for our delivery of complex solutions. Uh, you know, there was one particular customer that we recently delivered nearly a dozen servers and devices across four different public cloud data centres, so di different providers in different geographical areas. And we managed all that and the delivery on time for the, for the client and they were very happy with the service that we provided. 
It's also important, I think, for a lot of uh, customers that Office is a, a small to medium-sized business. It's Australian-owned and operated. Uh, and we also operate a private data centre, uh, which is important for, for customers out there that want to know exactly where their data is. They might be concerned about data sovereignty. Well, we can provide them absolute assurance of where their data is stored, as well as provide those hybrid um, public cloud solutions for them.